Hello, greatly blessed ones. Because of what Jesus has accomplished for us, we are all one in Christ. When we renew our minds in the Word of God, we will become more aware of this and we can experience the freedom that did not exist under the Old Covenant. In the very beginning, God made both the man and the woman according to His divine plan. God made all of creation and called it good. When He made man and woman in His own image, He blessed them and gave them dominion over all the earth and everything in it. Take a look at Genesis 1, 26-27. God formed man from the dust, and man became a living being. The original Hebrew says, a speaking spirit, when God breathed into his nostrils. When mankind was brought to life, they gained the ability to communicate with God and exercise authority over all creation. God created mankind as male and female. Genesis 5, 1 through 2 says, In the day that God created man or mankind, he made them male and female and blessed them and gave them mankind in the day they were created. Excuse me, and gave them dominion and authority in the day they were created. He blessed them so they would prosper and have everything they needed so all would be well with them. Psalm 8 tells us that God made mankind a little lower than himself. The Hebrew word here is not angels, it is Elohim, which means God, and crowned them with glory and honor. He gave man authority over what he had made. Take a look at Psalm 8, verses 1 through 9. We have always been on God's mind. Psalm 139, 17 through 18 declares, How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. He has crowned us with his presence. Jesus prayed to the Father in John 17, 22 and said, And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one, just as we are one. We're exhorted from Philippians 2, 5 through 6 in this way. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. We must have the same attitude and humble mind as Jesus Christ, who was equal to God. Jesus is our example. We are created in the exact image and likeness of the unseen God. Colossians 1.15 tells us that he is the firstborn of all creation. Jesus has freed us to be what God originally had in mind when he created us. Now that we know the true and living God, we can turn back to the weak things of religion, excuse me, we cannot turn back to the weak things of religion and return to being in bondage to them. See Galatians 4, 9. If we do not avail ourselves of the freedom and grace God offers us, we will fall back again and become slaves once more to the weak and useless spiritual principles of this world. Galatians 3, 26 through 28 declares, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Those in him are no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Family, the Lord Jesus Christ has completely liberated us. Galatians 5 1 admonishes us to stand fast in the liberty by which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. You are blessed, highly favored, and beautiful to the Lord. Well, that's it for today. I pray that you guys were blessed, and if you were and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click Donate. I love you and encourage you to walk in Christ Jesus' freedom today. See you later.